There are 7 billion people living in this world today. If each of them give you a dollar, you have 7 billion dollars. To do this, it's as simple as 1, 2, 3. Find a problem, create a solution, then build a business model. But it's easier said than done. So this is a walkthrough video on how you can do this. Remember last time, if you didn't have a car and you wanted to go somewhere, you would need to get a taxi. But the problem was, many of these taxis didn't use a meter and many of them overcharged. Most of us learn to live with this problem, but grab turn it into a billion dollar business. Spot a problem, find a solution, and money will find you. But here comes the million dollar question. How do you discover a problem worth solving? Well, the simple answer is, it requires critical thinking. We talked about it in our previous video. And now it's time to put it into practice. Start by asking these three questions. What are some things that you need to do or you like to do? What are the tasks traditionally performed to achieve this outcome? What are the challenges or problems to perform these tasks? For example, I like online shopping, especially buying things on Taobao because it's so cheap, right? My friends like it too, but many of them can't read Chinese characters. So they usually will send me a shopping list. As a friend, I would do them a favor. But if you think about it, I am actually solving a problem. This is a business opportunity. And today, this business model is called drop shipping. Many people are making millions from it. Sometimes, small problems like this can make big money. Once you discover the problem worth solving, it's time to think about the solution. More specifically, a solution that people are willing to pay for. If no one is going to pay for it, it's not a business. To have a good solution, you need to be familiar with the problem. This is why, if this is your problem, you will know them best. You will know the pain points and the outcome you desire. If you don't have a solution in mind, try improving the existing solution in the market. Think about what you like about them, what you dislike about them, and how you can improve it. Look at Grab. It was not the first e-hailing app. It simply made a better version of other similar services, same as Google, Facebook, or Shopee. They were not the first of their kind. They just made better versions of the original one. At the early stage of your idea, you likely won't have the best solution or product. And it's okay, because truth be told, most entrepreneurs did not have the best product when they started. <gasps> like what we talked about in the previous video. They started with what they have and they improved along the way. So if you're still waiting for the best product to start, stop waiting. Just start with what you have. When you have an initial product, it's time to develop a business plan. Use these three steps as a quick start guide for your business plan. Step one, identify who your target customers are. This is the most crucial step of developing a business plan. It is important for you to focus on a specific target market. Many people will say, my target market is everyone because my product is for everyone. Mr. Worldwide. I'm sorry to say, but that is probably the worst answer because at the initial stage, you need to be focused so, be as specific as possible. Who are your target market? Are they male or female? What is their age range? What are their common interests? Where do they hang out? Be as detailed and specific as possible. Step two, identify your value proposition. In other words, why should they buy your product and how can they benefit from it? Talk to your customers, engage them and focus on delivering the most value to them. Make them your raving fan because if they love your product, they will promote it to their friends. Step 3. Once you get the first two steps right, this is the most crucial step. How does your business make money? Is it a subscription plan or a one-off purchase? You need to find the right price that create value for your customers. Answering these questions the best you can will help you to increase your chances of success. So let's take Lululemon for example. Target customer, female yoga practitioners. Value proposition, comfortable and fashionable yoga apparel. How do they make money? People visit their retail outlet and purchase product from there. The answer to these three simple questions helped Lululemon develop one of the best business plans. Since their target customers were female yoga practitioners, the best place to reach them would be yoga classes. So they gave samples of Lululemon clothing to yoga instructors. When the students saw the instructors in fashionable yoga clothing, they started asking about it. Then the instructor would refer them to Lululemon retail outlet. The result was so good that Lululemon even started conducting free yoga classes in their retail showroom. What do you think the people did after the free yoga classes? Shut up and take my money! Can't relate to Lululemon? Well, 
here's another example for you. Alipal sent us a cold wallet. Their target customers, people who hold cryptocurrency. Their value proposition, a safe storage for your cryptocurrency. Protecting it from hackers, water, and even physical damages. Their price, 139 USD. With such a clear business plan, it becomes easy for them to execute an effective marketing strategy, which is by reaching out to us because they know they can get the right audience through us, which is you. But the next step is where many people start to give up. Selling your product. You will face rejection from your target customers. They could be friends or strangers. But when it's time to pay up for something, this is when things get real. Rejection is painful. But if you want to build a business, you need to learn to handle rejection. People who don't manage their emotions tend to quit here. Building a successful business is a process. It's not a one-day project. It takes months and years. And most of the time, your initial idea will suck. It's important to get feedback from your target customers and continuously improve your idea. It's not easy, but trust me, it will be a rewarding experience. Think about it. As a driver, I'm sure you have imagined the pleasure of your car driving itself during a traffic jam, right? Today, Elon Musk has created self-driving car through Tesla. And now, he's one of the richest men in the world. Why? Because he took action. What about you? 